how's it going patrons? I think this little gecko is a bit like me, he's happy to see some sunlight today. I did um, do a little bit of a clip for you guys yesterday, but unfortunately I didn't get around to posting it last night. I had a look at it and it's just me moaning and groaning about rain, which is a little bit cruel when some people have none. So I figured I wouldn't post it. So I was planning on um, having a crack at cleaning this bed out today. But I think I might give it a miss. We've just got a few other things going on. I'm running Kira and her friend around and Bianca's out with Maya at the moment picking up a new car. If they can um, move some money around on a Sunday. Um, I might get to doing this this afternoon but the bed, uh, the aquaponic row bed definitely won't be cleaned out. Just to show you these buckets are already coming pre-moistened. They've collected a fair bit of rainwater. I dare say there'd be a fair bit in the bottom of the um, rock bucket there as well. Once more, the bees are enjoying the sunshine. Doing a bit of house cleaning there by the look of it. I don't think we're going to be having any more rain. So that should keep these fellas happy. Uh, I'm actually just down here getting some gallangal and already got the turmeric, strangely enough. Uh, some onions and lemongrass and we're going to make up a slow cooker goat curry for dinner. So I better get cracking on that. And I might give you guys a bit of a look later. Might actually do a um, post on it uh, for the website. So. There you go. Um, I will leave it there though. Uh, I might come back later. We'll just see what happens. So we ended up with a small section of gallangal, some garlic that we harvested a while back along with the turmeric. I pulled out three stalks of lemongrass from the garden, a small clump of the purple onions and some kaffir lime leaves. All that was tossed into the food processor and whizzed up. I wasn't quite happy with the colour, so I added in another two large fingers of turmeric and blitzed that. Also added in some fish sauce and oil just to help the paste along. That paste was then rubbed over the top of the goat shoulder and popped in the slow cooker. Into the slow cooker we also added in just a standard can of coconut cream and that was set on high for one hour and then I think it did another six and a half on low. Once it was done we pulled the shoulder out, stripped the meat from the bones, popped it back in the slow cooker and added in some powdered cashews just to thicken up the sauce a little bit. We didn't add any chilli into this because we've had um, Kira's made over for dinner. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a look at the harvest and I'll post a proper curry paste recipe um, later on down the track to the website. Cheers all, have a top one.